Good evening, my precious friends and ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with, as you can see, my two beautiful babies, my little twins. We have Cooper here on the left and Camille on the right. And Cooper was reborn by Deborah from Deborah Darlings. And Camille was reborn by Claudette Davis. And both of them are wonderful artists, and they did a gorgeous job. And Cooper, I, I'm going to say this right now. Cooper was one of those dolls. When you got him, you absolutely did not have to do anything to him. You didn't have to restuff him. You didn't have to touch up his paint. You didn't have to mat him. He, he has beautiful details, which I don't know that you can really see, but we've got, he's got this beautiful veining and the veining on his head, and he has a little bald head with this gorgeous painted hair, and I have a hard time showing that to you right here, but that and uh, that is the way a reborn <laughs> should come home to you, you know, and um, when I do my dolls, that's I want to make sure that the mommy does not really have to do anything to that doll. She doesn't have to send it out to be matted. She doesn't have to send it out to have eyelashes corrected, etc., etc. He is just a perfect baby. And Camille, she is gorgeous. The best thing about Camille is Camille's hair. She has this gorgeous gorgeous hair and um, as an experienced rooter I really appreciate wonderful workmanship on rooting and Camille is one of those babies where Claudette she she knows how to directionally root so that the hair will lay down flat and not be sticking up all over the place or fuzzy or anything like that. She's done a marvelous job. Camille did have a couple of issues. One is um, she didn't have much color on her face, but um, I corrected that with by put, adding some blushing and I added matte to her. And, but the rest of her, her hands and her feet and her arms all had just perfect blushing and um, color toning and veins and all of that, but uh, she her limbs do need to be matted. And when I get into doing a custom I'm going to be working on um, very soon, I'm going to take her apart and mat her. But for right now, she's wearing her little long sleeve jammies, and they just, oh, this is Burt B's. Both of them are wearing Burt B's newborn, and they just fit them wonderfully. And they're sharing their bunny, and um, I'll take the bunny away for right now so you can see all of um, Camille's little outfit. And I can't zoom in, guys, because I did something terrible. Thursday I made a video, and then I was carrying my camera out to the living room. And our living room is carpeted, and our bedrooms are carpeted, but the rest of the house is all ceramic tile. And I dropped the camera on the tile. And when it hit, I knew it was had for. I mean, I could hear it crack. I was so upset. I didn't even know how to tell my husband. And I know a lot of people use um, their cell phones anyway, and this one seems to be working great. I um, I like the versatility of a camera, though, being able to video, video longer, and being able to zoom in, you know, that, that kind of thing. So I did, I have replaced the camera, but it won't be here till Tuesday. So tonight we're doing the cell phone and seeing how that works, and from what I can see, it looks like it's doing just fine. So we'll move along, and so therefore, I have to really greatly apologize I didn't get any more videos of the puppies, and they went home on Saturday because I broke my camera, and um, I just didn't didn't really feel comfortable using my cell phone, so 
and everything got so busy so I didn't get to. So the videos that we have of um, the puppies this time, that's what we get. But there will be more puppies in the future and hopefully we won't have camera accidents and all of that. So with that said, I do want to do, there's a couple things I want to get done tonight. One is I want to do uh, the fall tag. And I've wanted to do that now for um, a while, maybe a week. But due to all of the things that have happened, that just didn't happen. But tonight I think it can. So this is the fall tag by Eddie from Eddie for Bo from Boy Like to Stalls. And I'll leave the link there in my description. And uh, the first question was, do you like pumpkin spice or latte? Well, um... I think that was it. Or hot chocolate. Pumpkin spice latte or hot chocolate. Well, I have to say hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee. And I'm pretty sure a latte is coffee, so I don't drink that. So it would be hot chocolate, and I love hot chocolate. Okay, do you prefer for holiday Thanksgiving or Halloween? Well, that's a toss-up. I love Halloween. I always have. My kids grew up. I always I had a ton of decorations around the house most of them that I had made or toll painted out of wood and I've given them all to my girls now um, and I and I've always loved it it's calmed down a lot now because I gave my girls my decorations and I do just a few decorations but I do love um, having the kids come over and my daughter always has a nice little Halloween party at her house I love that but I love Thanksgiving as well so there it's really tied Thanksgiving is a wonderful holiday because there's no gifts involved, no stress with that, and it's always good food. And this year it's going to even be better for me because I'm going to we're going to my daughter's for Thanksgiving. My daughter Elizabeth did Halloween at her house. Connie's doing Thanksgiving at her house, and I'm doing Christmas. So I'm just going to bring a few items with me, and I won't be cooking all day, so I'll probably get to enjoy my meal. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, number three, do I shop on Black Friday? No. And then I'm going to say it again. No. I cannot stand crowds. I don't, I, I don't even, I barely go out of my house on Black Friday. Now I will shop online. You know, some vendors will be advertising Black Friday prices. Well, that's fun. I, I do that, but I don't go anywhere near the stores. Um, what is my favorite thing to do on a rainy day? Well, my favorite thing to do on a rainy day would be to cuddle up on my couch and binge watch some series that I haven't um, gotten through all of it. But you know what? Um, that doesn't happen because I work and I work full time. So the rainy days, I'm staring at the rain through my office window, enjoying it, or I'm out on the road if it's Tuesday or Thursday and it's raining. So um, if it's on the weekend, then possibly I have a few moments to enjoy a rainy day. Do I prefer apple or pumpkin pie? Well, I'm going to say pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. It's like a big joke. I'm telling you, I could eat an entire pumpkin pie. I wouldn't, but I, I could. I have to stop myself. And if we have, we have, I usually try to make homemade pumpkin pies out of the uh, raw pumpkin, uh, canned pumpkin. Um, and then, you know, I'll have a piece for dinner. I'll have a piece before I go to bed. And then I'll probably have a piece when I wake up in the morning, you know. Anyway, okay, and then the scariest movie I've ever seen. Well, I do not ever watch horror movies. And that's kind of ironic because I love Stranger Things. And that was kind of a science fiction horror thing. But you know what? Not really. But I loved the kids in Stranger Things. But I don't, like, I've never seen Friday the 13th. I don't, I don't you know, I don't see any of those. I, just, I don't care for those. Um, I do like thrillers, that kind of thing. Um, but I think probably... The uh, one scariest movie that I've seen that any time lately I remember would be with Daniel, 
Oh, what is his name? Daniel Radcliffe? Uh, Woman in Black. Uh, it was a ghost story. And shoot, that was a scary, disturbing movie. And yeah, I was scared. My husband was scared. We watched it here. Um, okay. My favorite fall accessory. Well, we don't, it doesn't ever get really cold, cold here. So I would have to say it was my cardigans. I love cardigans and when I have the chance to wear them, it's always fun. I have like one in every different color, navy, cream, winter white, red, black, you name it. I, I love cardigans and I do like scarves too, but cardigan, cardigans in particular. And my least favorite thing, the last question about fall. Well, that would be that it doesn't last long enough. Gee, I wish that, you know, instead of, well, we, when, when fall comes here, it lasts for like six weeks. I mean, the weather gets cooler, everything like that. And then because where we live in a little bit of a mountainous region here in Southern California, we do get color here. And, but it doesn't come until starting around Thanksgiving, the, the leaves all start turning and then that'll last through Christmas. So that's kind of nice, but it's never, ever long enough for me. And so that is the answers to those tags, um, by, from Eddie by, oh, what is it? Boy, Boy Likes Dolls. It was a great tag and I've enjoyed hearing everybody's, um, answers to that so now to end my video I do I do have kind of a, a mini haul that I'm going to show you guys the um what I got at some various stores um so we'll start with over here I went to the Jimboree outlet yesterday and um Cabazon with my husband, and they really did not have a lot. Um, I, th I mean, they didn't have a lot of good deals. They had some cute clothes, but I didn't see anything that, because uh, sometimes you go in there, and man, it's a whole six six ninety nine rack, and they're, be they're beautiful clothes, just a couple of months old. But this is, I got this, and this is for Camille. It's a little pink penguin that's appliqued and embroidered. And it's a onesie. And then these are the little socks that go with it. And she needs, um, because she's a twin, I have found myself looking for twin things for them. And this one is for Cooper. It says little brother on it, though, but it is so cute. And it has, also has the applique and embroidered little peng, daddy penguin and baby penguin. And here's his socks to go with that. And then today, um, I got this gift certificate for my friend for my birthday um, at Penny's. And I went in Penny's and I didn't see anything that was really thrilling for me. So, of course, I met. I went to the baby section, and I didn't really see anything that was real thrilling to me there, but I did find this outfit for Camille, and I do have a bib that goes with this, but I liked it because it was long sleeves, it wasn't a onesie, and it had the cute little matching socks, and these darling little seersucker um, pants that go with it, and Carter's looks really cute on them, and so I got that. And I got this one for Cooper. It has it's a little moose. It has the moose on the bottom. And it says the the onesie says handsome dude. And then he has this uh, woodland onesie to go with it. So I thought that would that would be cute for them. And then I went to Old Navy. And I have not shopped at Old Navy for baby clothes. And they had some darling things. I just wish they had, had, hadn't had sold out of their smaller sizes. But I found this. Now, these are all 0 to 3. So this these are going to be for Finn and Harvey Walter. And there's the little <laughs> sheep jumping over the fence. Now, this is screen printed. 
but the price reflects that but they're still it's very good quality I was very impressed and it has these darling um, striped pants with the ribbing and that will look so cute on one of them and it has uh, the I got these these matching socks that have the lamb on them or the stripes or just plain so then this one will be for one of them too this is a a bear and he's so cute with the bear pants because I love babies in these cozy things and if you follow um, Sylvia on Instagram Sylvia oh it, I don't know how a uh, Gary Anyway, she's that wonderful artist, and she just had the most beautiful baby. And she t and she lives in Spain, and so she has access to all those beautiful clothes. But she was talking about how she keeps her baby in things just like this because it's cuddly, it's soft, and, you know, so that's... She doesn't go for those real fancy items because they're not realistic for her baby. You know, the, it gets dirty... Or it's scratchy, um, but she likes to cuddle her in these type of clothes. And I thought that was very interesting because that's how I've always felt about when I had my babies. But then I found this, and this is for the girls, either um, Charlotte or Emma Louise. And this has a hoodie, and it's just precious. It's pink. Uh, one, It's a one, what do you call it? A onesie outfit, you know, it has the ribbing around the sleeves and the legs and these little hoodie pockets with the buttons and it has unicorns in it, but I love the color. And that came too in a, a group and it was all 40% off, so that was very nice. And this one, which was the second one, um, has, and they're kind of a thermal type of material. This is all stars and it has a hoodie, so that's going to look really cute on them. And then finally, last thing, I got the same type of thing for the boys. The lambs for one of them with the hoodie on it, just like the girls. And then this one has the stars, and it's black with the stars. And I hope you guys can see this good enough. They're hooked together, so it's kind of difficult. Anyway, so that's my um, tag, and... That's my, those are my tag answers, and that's my mini haul, and I just want to make a quick little announcement that this coming week on my Instagram, and I'm going to be putting, um, it will be called Susie's Baby Boutique. I've already set up the channel. I'm going to be doing my own Black Friday sale of uh, baby clothes. And when I say most of these, if they're not brand new, they've been worn one time. One time by one of my dolls. But a lot of them still have the tags on them. I just need to clean out my closets and my bins. So I am going to be doing a sale. And... Um, I will announce that later in the week too. If you follow me on Instagram, I will have that. Um, I'll have the link to the sale and an announcement. And I'm also going to be selling six reborn dolls on uh, eBay. And one of those dolls is my Oliver, and one is Anna Mae, and um, the others are dolls that I've had. They're going to be going for. Beautiful, wonderful prices, and both Anime and Oliver will come home with quite a few items as well. So I will give you later in the week uh, my links to those, to my eBay auctions as well. So it might be nice for Christmas if you want to get your, I have a Kylie, uh, a Kylie Stridum by Romy. Um, she will be up. I've had her for a while, and... Um, she will be on there, and a couple of Adri, Adri Stoetis. Um, just, uh, it's just, I think it's just Oliver and maybe one other that were actually reborn by me. These other ones are from my private collection that you haven't seen. So, 
Alrighty, that's enough. And thank you for joining me this evening with Miss Camille and Mr. Cooper looking so beautiful. Um, I am thrilled with how this worked with my cell phone, you know. So anyway, okay. Thank you. Love you all. And we will talk to you later.